Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Microsoft ERP Beginners Tutorial Series. Hope you enjoyed my previous episode on purchase requisition and various topic within purchase requisition. And this episode is going to be a very short episode on vendor evaluation criteria and vendor evaluation group. So with that note, let's get started with the episode. Microsoft Dynamics 365 gives us an ability to uh, score the vendor based on various parameters or based on various criteria. Uh, so that's called as uh, evaluation criteria. So uh, we have uh, we can set up the evaluation criteria uh, from this particular section. So the path is uh, procurement and sourcing module under the setup section under the vendor subsection. You have a vendor evaluation criteria group and vendor evaluation criteria. So let's click on the vendor evaluation criterion group. Um, I have already created this criterion group. I cannot get rid of it because I already have some transactions based out of this group. Uh, so it's very simple. You just click on the new button and create the group. I'm not going to create a group because it's very, very simple. Just create a group and name it. So that's uh, the vendor evaluation criterion group. You can create any number of groups and every group can have its own criteria. So at the moment I have one group which I've already created. Uh, so once you create a vendor evaluation criterion group, um, go to the same section and click on the menu uh, at the, uh, above the group, which is vendor evaluation criteria. I've already created three vendor evaluation criteria. Um, the here is where you key in all those parameters on which basis you would like to score your vendor or evaluate your vendor. Uh, it depends on the business and depends on the customer's requirement. It keeps changing. So based on your customer requirement, you can key in your uh, customer specific vendor evaluation criteria over here. At the moment, I've already added three criteria using the new button. Uh, the criteria one is a communication, how good the vendor is with respect to the collaboration. So I will in future be rating the vendor based on this criteria. And uh, the inspection quality, well, like which means that the quality of the goods that the vendor have um, sent me so far and what was my inspection score or result. And based on the quality, I rate my vendor. And likewise, the lead time, that is what is the delivery time and how fast the vendor is delivering the product to me based on which I'll be rating the vendor. So these are the three evaluation criteria that I have defined in the system. So step number one is creating the vendor evaluation group. And step number two is vendor evaluation criteria so both of them are available in procurement sourcing setup section once you are done with it uh, go to the procurement category that is uh, under the consignment section over here get into the procurement categories so within the procurement category so this is the procurement category that we have created in some of our uh, past episodes so I'm going to um, make it for um, a roof rack. Um, so in this particular category, I'm going to add a couple of vendors. So let me go ahead and add uh, the vendor one and vendor two. Just click on the down arrow and OK. And that will automatically add those vendors. So we are basically adding the vendor within the uh, procurement category against a specific sub uh, subcategory. So once you added the vendor uh, vendor account, you can now add the vendor evaluation criterion group that we have just created. Select the group, add, add it to the list and say OK. So the group is also added successfully. So here we have the group and here we have the vendor. Now it says very, very simple. You need to evaluate the vendor using the evaluation button. So when I click on the evaluation button, all the evaluation criteria ba based within this group will automatically show up. Uh, so, um, so uh, click on the evaluation. So here you have the uh, the criteria over here. So you can rate the vendor based on the criteria. These are the rating from zero to five. So uh, lowest being the poor rating and highest being the good rating. Uh, so let me uh, give excellent, and let me give uh, the quality wise they are good and lead time was they are uh, not bad and communication was they are fair enough so i save it so now it gives me the average score based on the rating that i have performed this is for the first vendor that is this particular vendor uh, once you evaluate the, them 
uh, get into the second vendor and do the evaluation again and here you can quickly evaluate them again like before so good maybe poor and I'm going to rate them very very poor so which means based on that um, just refresh it and you get the average score so the average score is an indication of your rating score right it's an average score of all your rating so now um, once you have performed this evaluation at the top then your vendor evaluation data will be stored in the system so um, this is how you evaluate a vendor within a specific um, procurement category so what is the use of uh, me scoring the vendor there are many uses uh, to give you an example you can get into the procurement and uh, sourcing module um, and um, use the a vendor search option over here so click on the vendor search option so if you are looking for a specific vendor and you wanted to search the vendor um, uh, which is belonging to a specific criteria uh, you can quickly use the vendor search criteria function and add the um, uh, the vendor evaluation criteria group and vendor evaluation criteria on what basis you want to filter the vendor i want to filter the vendor based on the collaboration aspect right and also based on the quality so i want to filter so this will automatically show me the list of vendors which are um, matching this particular criteria right so uh, at the moment i have these two vendors which i have just um, added uh, which is matching my evaluation criteria so what i can now do is um, now that i got the result of the vendor that kind of vendor that i'm looking for i can select them like for example i can select either one of them use the function and create a purchase order uh, or i can choose all of them um, of course i cannot create purchase order if i choose all of the vendor but if i choose multiple vendor it's possible for me to create a request for quotation right request for quotation is also called as an rfq we will uh, look in we will um, do a deep dive into the rfq process in the next episode so the rfq is basically um, a process of requesting a quote to the vendor to it can be even done with the multiple vendors 10 different vendors or one vendor in this case uh, the quote will be generated uh, for this two vendor that is request for quotation document will be generated and these two vendors will be automatically added into the document um so um, this is the rfq uh, record uh, let me choose a, a warehouse and site and say okay and uh, in this particular rfq uh, document if you get into the header section you will see that two vendors are automatically added so these are the vendors that got added from the search and from the vendor search we have uh, created a request for quotation and the request for quotation will automatically have uh, those vendors added okay so it's also possible for you to create a request for quotation directly from the procurement and sourcing module so if you go into the procurement and sourcing module let's collapse everything and here we have a request for quote uh, area and inside the request for quote area if you click on the all request for quotation and if you click on the new button you will be able to create a quote but when you normally create a quote you will not get the vendor automatically added but when you create a quote from the vendor search you will have those vendor accounts automatically added okay and another use of vendor evaluation um, criteria is assuming that i'm creating a vendor uh, request for quotation directly using the new button over here in such cases i will not have this vendor automatically added so it looks like this so it looks blank right there is no vendor added in the header section so in order for me to add the vendor i can use the add button and manually choose the vendor account or i have another ability where i can use the vendor search function which is within the request for quote and choose your um, um, evaluation criteria group and also choose your vendor evaluation criteria same criteria and say okay so based on your criteria uh, the system will automatically show you the same result that we have seen so then just click both and click on the 
transfer selected lines and that way the search results will be transferred into your request for code so this is another way where you can use the vendor search which is available within the request for quotation and it is useful for you to um, quickly search for the vendor based on the vendor evaluation criteria and add them into the uh, request for quotation so more on the request for quotation will be in the next episode so do watch my next episode that will be a pretty much deep dive into the various process of request for quotation and this one is a very short episode hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching this episode see you again in another episode